You might not immediately realize it, but Dr. Karina beck Lerup really is passionate about improving the lives of horses oh, yeah. all around the world. I actually did cause the horse's pain, uh, which is a bit uh, difficult for some people to, to accept or to understand that anybody would be able to do that. But as a pain researcher, the last thing you want to do is to cause animals pain um, and it was quite stressful actually because it's, it's not very nice to cause an animal pain on, on purpose. But she forced herself to do so to try to solve the mystery that fellow equine researchers had largely ignored. That is, when horses hurt, do they display the kind of facial changes that humans and rodents do? And can those changes be mapped to ensure speedier pain relief? What I did was that I, I used um, six horses for my research and I trained the horses for all the procedures so they were trained to stand in a certain area they were trained to get the uh, to be video uh, filmed and they were trained uh, for the painful procedure but that was the, the one of the procedures was a, um, a a blood pressure cuff on the front limb so it wasn't different than if it was actually having the blood pressure taken or uh, uh, sometimes you put a tight bandage to to treat them for some kind of things uh, and they were trained for that for 10 days before I actually started the study just really briefly putting on the, the um, blood pressure cuff and taking it off again uh, and they were not very stressed with that they got used to it really quickly and they had a lot of positive reinforcement while doing it and then we uh, used this um, capsaicin which is this stingy pungent from the chili peppers that we put on the skin and I actually put it on myself as well because as a good pain researcher I applied it on myself to make sure that it wasn't too painful and actually to get an understanding of the, probably the type of pain that they would feel as well and it was of course a bit painful and it was stingy but it, it, it stopped after a while and I saw the skin became a bit numb after that and that's exactly what I can see in the videos as well. It's, it's painful to begin with and then it wears off. But the horses were really um, quite uh, relaxed and, and they liked me all the way through, I have to say that, even though I caused them pain. Uh, so I did this uh, with the purpose of helping a lot of other horses. So I think it was really very brief. It was only for 20 minutes they were in pain uh, for every uh, pain session. So it was brief pain and they were in really safe environments. The result, what Dr. Karina calls her equine pain face chart, a comprehensive guide showing what to look for if you suspect a horse is in pain. And it's free. I think horses use facial expressions a lot. Um, quite recent research has also proved that horses use each other's ears and eyes a lot for communication um, and they also look at, at, at human beings for, for all sorts of, of clues of, of different things so they can actually read our expressions and, and we should be able to read their expressions better so and obviously the ears we've always used the ears everybody who knows horses knows that if the, if the ears are back don't get near at least not near the back uh, the back legs or so we've always used the expressions. It's just a matter of, of looking into more details. So I think that's the interesting thing. But obviously the ears are very expressive and the eyes as well. Everybody knows this, this horse that looks sad. This is also, you always get that in, in cartoons and stuff. It's a horse that looks sad and that's mainly the, the eyes. And then we can look at the nostrils as well, as well because they're so big and they can move quite a bit. So the nostrils are good as well and, and the mouth as well. A lot of people actually see that the horse, when it's sort of skeptical, it will do some kind of thing with its lips. And when it's working and concentrating, it will do something else. And, and then when it's in pain, it will do something entirely different as well. So that's sort of the main areas that we look at. And then obviously the, um, the big muscles that run alongside the, the side of the face on the horse. Uh, you can see that they sort of tense up when they're in pain or when they're angry or whatever. A word of warning, not all lowered ears mean the horse is actually hurting. This grey is actually a young horse and lowering his ears is how he shows respect when greeting humans and older, stronger horses. 
But there are many conditions where Dr. Karina's pain face chart will mean horses hiding their agony will get pain relief much faster. My hope is that owners will be able to detect uh, colic pain sooner than they do already. Like this one, seen here recovering from colic after its owners spotted the horse was in pain and rushed it to Dr. Karina's hospital for treatment. Because um, when horses get colic, they get, they get really, really ill. Uh, and if they would be able to detect signs of pain early on, that is for the horse owners, that would be really great. Uh, so they would actually be able to see that, well, this horse is not just in a bad mood, it's actually in pain. But also when a horse is in pain, um, it, some kind of skeletal pain, it could be back pain or pain in, in a leg or whatever, you, can see, you would be able to see this uh, facial expression before anything else uh, because that sort of changes really early on uh, with quite low degrees of pain. You can already see the changes in facial expressions. Dr. Karina's next project is to try to decipher when horses are suffering chronic pain, otherwise known as long-term persistent pain. In the meantime, if you'd like to get a free copy of her equine pain face poster, simply go to the Horses and People magazine website and follow the prompts. (laughs) 